Christopher Columbus was a Genoese explorer who set out to find a westward route to Asia in 1492. He believed that by sailing west, he could reach the riches of the east and bring wealth to Spain. With the support of Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand of Spain, Columbus set sail with three ships, the Santa Maria, Pinta, and Nina. After several weeks at sea, Columbus and his crew spotted land, and on October 12, 1492, they made landfall in the present-day Bahamian Islands. Columbus explored the islands of the Caribbean, including Cuba and Hispaniola. He returned to Spain with gold, spices, and new knowledge of the lands he had discovered. In 1493, Columbus set out on his second voyage, this time with 17 ships and over 1,000 colonists. He established a permanent settlement in Hispaniola and explored the islands of the Caribbean and the coast of Central America, including present-day Puerto Rico and Jamaica. Columbus' third voyage took him further south along the coast of South America. He explored the present-day Venezuelan coast and Trinidad. His fourth and final voyage was marred by shipwrecks, rebellion among his crew, and disputes with colonial officials. He explored the coast of Central America and the Yucatan Peninsula, but he never completed his intended journey to find a westward route to Asia. Columbus's voyages opened the door for the Spanish Empire to establish colonies in the Americas and marked the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade, which brought millions of enslaved Africans to the New World. His voyages also had a profound impact on the indigenous populations of the Americas, leading to the forced displacement and exploitation of the native peoples and the introduction of new diseases that decimated their populations. Although Columbus is often credited as the discoverer of America, he was not the first European to reach the Americas, nor was he the first to realize that the world was round. However, his voyages marked a significant turning point in world history and continue to shape the modern world today.